Uh, first of all, I'm very happy uh, to host this kind of good uh, international conference on coding theory in Korea. And I'm very, also very happy to give a chance to give a talk here. And this is a uh, uh, joint work with uh, uh, Dr. Pan Tan Tuan, who gave a talk yesterday. And yeah, the, this uh, is already <coughs> announced uh, in Korea before, but uh, I hope uh, the, this is somewhat new to uh, foreigners. So in this talk, uh, uh, <coughs> let uh, A and D and A and D will be the maximum coordinate of course of length n and minimum distance d. And we improve two values of A and D and 21 values of A and D w. And our improvement is based on very simple remark and uh, I will <coughs> spend most of my time how we reach to such a remark and uh, I'll omit uh, te uh, technical details so um, most of my talk will be very elementary. So uh, in the first, I'll um, discuss what is coding theory from my, my point of view. And uh, in the second, we, I'll explain our improvements on optimal course. And finally, uh, I'll explain our improvements on optimal constant weight course. So, Everybody here are interested in coding theory. So, <coughs> in coding theory, uh, we are interested in the set of uh, n tuples, binary n tuples. So, this is our the set of binary n tuples is our object in coding theory. So. <coughs> So to study this set, uh, we give many structures on X. So uh, first of all, X is a set. is a set of binary n tuples. And if we give a group structure on this binary alphabet, namely addition modulo 2, then this is just n tuples of elements in B, so this is an abelian group. So we can add two elements in X. And this is more interesting. When we give a field structure on B, which is uh, usually denoted by F sub 2, then this is n-dimensional vector space of F to n. So this is uh, why linear algebra on a finite, finite field involved in the theory of cause. And we can give more <coughs> structures on that. For example, we give uh, distance, Hamming distance on X, then uh, everybody knows the definition of Hamming distance, I guess. So we have two Oh, why? We have two binary n vectors, and we compare uh, uh, these two vectors uh, element-wise and count the number of i at which they are depot. And this is having the distance. Then our x becomes a matrix space. This is having matrix space, and this is very uh, good. Uh, this gives a very good method to understand uh, our object X. And we give uh, 
uh, <coughs> x becomes a graph when uh, we define two vectors in x, y is adjacent if and only if their Hamming distance is one. Then this graph has very nice property. This is, uh, for example, distance regular graph. So the theory of distance regular graph comes in the study of cause. And X is an association scheme, which is called the uh, Hamming scheme. So this, uh, the theory of association scheme gives a very good uh, <coughs> method to study optimal cores. And uh, finally, um, maybe uh, uh, this is um, uh, final in my list, but uh, we can get uh, X is an affine geometry of dimension N of F2. So in this kind of, we uh, view X from many point of view and uh, we start cools. So I briefly uh, review what is code. A code is a subset of our binary N space Bn. And element uh, in uh, element of a code C is called a code word. And minimum distance of a code is the minim uh, minimum of uh, having distance between two distinct elements in X, namely. Uh, <coughs> so, and the uh, length N and cardinality and minimum distance D uh, are called the uh, basic parameters of a code. And uh, length is uh, 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 quite basic and cardinality is also basic, but the minimum distance is uh, very important. For example, if we have a big minimum distance, then we can correct more errors. Okay. So our natural question is, for a given n, we want to have large minimum distance as well as large number of code words. But <laughs> this is our hope, but we cannot get both of them. So we compromise like this. This is the uh, most uh, uh, fundamental problem in coding theory, I guess. For a given ND, we define AND is the maximal cardinal of code words of length N with the minimum distance D. So if we want to study these values, but uh, this value is quite difficult uh, to attack when N and D are comparatively large. So uh, in the first, we study uh, basic elementary properties of A and D. This is well known, uh, these uh, two properties. So A and D is a n minus one, two d minus one, and a n is less than or equal to this. So this is very elementary properties, and this property is also very useful when our n or d is small. But when our value of n and d are large, then uh, our elementary property is not so very useful. So we need the theory for upper bounds on ND, and there are many uh, huge uh, theory on the upper bounds on AND, but uh, in this talk we need uh, this kind of uh, four upper bounds. So I'll briefly introduce each of them. So <coughs> this is a uh, uh, <coughs> A theorem of Hamming, so a n, this value is less than or equal to this value. Why is this true? So, we want to curve our Boolean n space. This is x. 
and minimum distance is 2d plus 1. So if we make a ball of radius d, then they do not overlap. So the <coughs> so the number of elements covered by these balls are obviously less than y equal to two to the n, which is the cardinal of our x. Then uh, so the uh, this value is uh, less than y equal to d. So this is quite. Uh, uh, easy and but very fundamental result. So, <coughs> what is Johnson bound? So, to introduce uh, Johnson bound, we need a uh, one more concept. Uh, so, namely the optimal constant weight course. So, for a given n d w, let a n d w is the maximal cardinality of code was. Uh, of length n, minimum distance d, but in, in this case, each code was says exactly w once, so weight w. Uh, this kind of code is called the constant weight code of length n and weight w. Okay? So Johnson proved uh, this kind of result. So why is this true? So the, this is Hemming bound, and uh, we need to uh, consider, uh, uh, we need some kind of careful consideration on spheres. So we give a little bigger. So this is already, so this sphere. And <coughs> we have a code word, and we have a sphere of radi uh, radius t plus one. But uh, in Hamming case, I mean the ball of radius d, they they never intersect. But <coughs> in this case, our bodies become little larger. So, some ball is, uh, um, so we have another code word, and so some uh, vector in, uh, uh, on this sphere does not intersect with the ball of radius d with the center at code word, but some uh, uh, <coughs> has intersects with the ball of radius d. So this kind of back elements is already counted uh, in Hamming case. So we have to delete. So this is this two d plus one. So in this big, then they will eliminate this amount, and they eliminate this amount like this. Then uh, this kind of uh, consideration uh, give Johnson bound. Okay. This is uh, a very <laughs> nice bound in my opinion. Why? We are interested in this problem, but Johnson reduced the problem of this to the problem of this value. So if we have a very nice estimation of this value, then it gives a nice pop out for this value. This is our first observation. Uh, 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 this is <coughs> the, the, the philosophy of uh, uh, the philosophy involved in Johnson result is like this. If we have a good upper bound for A and D, then it gives a good upper bound for A and D. But uh, this, uh, uh, for this, we have to check 2 to the 2 to the n cases, but this 
2 to the 2 to the n to double kc. So this is much easier uh, than this value. So so uh, from this philosophy, uh, we need to develop the coding theory on uh, y instead of x, which is the set of binary n vectors of grade w. So before that, uh, we first uh, uh, study element properties of a and w, and uh, I'll just list it them. And this is also very good when our N, D, W are comparatively small. But so we repeat the idea of coding theory uh, on Y instead of X. So Y is a set. So Y is a set equipped with a metric because it is a subset of our matrix space X, and Y is a graph, this is Johnson graph, Y is an association scheme, uh, this is called the Johnson scheme. So we have a metric, so now our space is Y. But we still have the concept of distance. So now we are interested in vectors in this uh, space, which are uh, uh, at distance at least 2d plus 1. So we can apply Hamming type consideration. Hamming type theory can be developed because, but in this case, the Hamming ball of radius 2R is a little different because it is contained in our uh, every vector should be contained in Y, so the uh, volume of, the size of ball of radius 12 should be this. And now uh, we are interested in, this is having type CRM is applied, but we want to <coughs> We want to go one more step. So again, we need some kind of uh, careful consideration on sphere of radius t. For example, if we uh, increase the size of balls, then uh, they will intersect at first. And we need very careful consideration because some of the uh, points here is already uh, counted uh, in a uh, previ previous case. I mean, the, uh, this can be uh, belong to ball of uh, sphere of uh, size uh, of smaller size. So, in this careful consideration, uh, so we need to be careful consideration on the sphere of radius t in y. But y itself is the set of vectors at distance from r from one point. So in conclusion, we consider in our x, this is our code word, and we consider a set of vectors uh, of distance r from one point. This is our space. And from here, we consider the set of uh, point, which is uh, distance t. 
So as a whole, uh, we consider the set of vectors in our set of vectors in X, which is at distance r from one point and at distance t from another point. So this is our observation, and then we can apply Hamming type theorem so to understand the to understand the A and D W. Uh, we have to understand uh, somewhat uh, complicated in writing, but much easier in handling, so it reduced this problem to somewhat easier problem. And again, we apply the same idea, so uh, we reduce the problem, somewhat easier problem, and so on. So from this consideration, we reach to the following de definition. So for a finite set, lambda, x sub i and d sub i, where each xi is a vector in x and each di is a non-negative integer, we define a and lambda d to be the maximal coordinate of code words in any binary code of length n at distance d such that each code word is at distance di from xi for all i in i. So, from Hemming and Johnson's idea, we reach to this kind of definition. This is, I think, quite new definition. So we introduce such a definition. So what is our? So we have to be understand this definition quite well. Uh, so we'll examine this definition for simple cases. So for example. Uh, when our lambda is zero, uh, cardinal lambda is zero, then this uh, lambda is empty set, then we have no additional conditions, so our uh, uh, a and lambda d becomes our uh, a and d. And when uh, lambda has one element, then uh, our a and and lambda d becomes uh, the optimal constant weight code. And now this, uh, these two definitions are already known. So what will happen if our, the cardinal of lambda equals 2? This is our first uh, non-trivial case. And this is already studied uh, by uh, previous researchers. Let T W1 N1, W2 N2 D be the maximal number of code words in any code of length N and minimum distance D such that each code word has exactly W1 once on the first N1 coordinate and like this. this uh, sometimes this code is called the uh, double constant weight code. So, so, so we are now interested in code of uh, length n, but we divide this this in total. We have it. Uh, we have. W1 once in the first part and W2 once in the second part. This is the definition of T W1 N1, W2 N2. And when our lambda is 2, then this value becomes this value. So this is purely algebraic definition, but this is something like this. In, this is uh, something like this. 
this. This is uh, our, our uh, a and lambda d, or with lambda equal two. So, or t w one n one w two n two d. So sometimes, sometimes it is quite important to understand this kind of uh, uh, algebraic definition in terms of ge geometric uh, intuition. So th this uh, uh, this definition uh, this uh, definition is quite useful in our investigation. Now, I'll briefly introduce uh, Desartes' linear prob programming bounds. So, in uh, Desart uh, theory, uh, they, are interest, uh, they uh, are interested in the distance distribution of C. So, this is we take a pair of uh, two code words at distance i and take average. This is our definition of bi. Uh, it follows from uh, this definition that if you add b0 and b1 and bn, then this gives the whole quadrate of C. And then start to prove this kind of uh, inequality. Uh, in 1973, and uh, yesterday, uh, Dr. Tuan re proved this using small techniques in countings. So, from this theorem, this is famous uh, linear probing bound of Delta. This is uh, 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 best, uh, this gives the best bound uh, for. More than 30 years uh, before Schreiber's semi definite linear pro programming bound appears. So uh, consider BI as area uh, variables, then uh, we think about the B1, BN satisfying the conditions of these kind of inequalities, and we solve this uh, using uh, uh, linear programming techniques, then this gives an upper bound for our uh, optimal, uh, optimal A and D. Now, I'll uh, briefly introduce Schreiber's semi-definite programming bound. Uh, Schreiber tells uh, us uh, to uh, think about the distance distribution, then he think about the pair of code words. This is the answer. But in uh, semi-definite pro programming, Schreiber think about the triple. So he think about this kind of This is, so we need uh, this distance i, distance j, i plus j minus 2 times t. He, uh, uh, he Schreiber is uh, interested in this kind of triangles, you know, having space x, and uh, he defined the number of such triangles and uh, uh, he defined x, i, j, t uh, by normalizing these values. And uh, then uh, we can easily check that uh, the relation between uh, uh, Desartes' uh, distant distribution and uh, Schreiber's uh, uh, 
triple distance distribution is like this. So th from this equation, we know that this value sums up to cardinality of C. And uh, this is Schreiber's main result. And he proved that this kind of uh, matrices are positive semi uh, definite and if you uh, multiply this with this then it uh, gives always positive values so but uh, this is quite uh, or wrong and uh, complicated so I'll skip this and after this theorem he reached to uh, semi-definite problem bound, so our A and D is uh, uh, less than or equal to this kind of values where uh, X, I, J, T satisfy this kind of conditions. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm, mm, mm, I introduce enough materials to introduce our result. So first uh, we improve linear programming bounds and they uh, uh, add some linear constraint uh, to uh, there's a linear programming bound but we add uh, some, uh, some more conditions and uh, here is our point. Uh, Schreiber deals with the triple distance distributions like this. And he wants to compute the number of triangles. Uh, this is our code word. This one. He wants to count uh, this kind of triangles in our code, but uh, usually uh, we do some kind of double counting. So he wants to count, but. We first pick this, so we pick this, and trying to find G satisfying this condition. So this is exact definition of this. We are interested in vectors which are at distance J from X, at distance I plus J minus 2T from at Y. So this, so this value should should appear, and we take some all over x y, then uh, this gives this kind of result. So this is nothing but uh, we count this kind of triangles. Uh, uh, using the technique of double counting. So uh, recall that Schreiber's uh, condition is uh, this, but we improve this to this times x i j x i 0, x i 0, 0. But if you examine this, this is, uh, this is the number of vectors at But uh, 
they in some sense they just think uh, this value and this value but we replace uh, this value by this so in this space the vectors should distance d apart for each pair so they didn't count but we have to count this kind of things so usually this value is much less than one but Schreiber uh, 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 run his computer with value one but instead we uh, replace one by this value so this is gives quite good result I guess some, for some cases so our trick is we improve some uh, linear we add some already add some I didn't explain but we already add some linear constraint but on BI but BI is this so we can add that kind of constraint and uh, we give uh, this uh, uh, to replace this to replace this value to this value and then uh, we obtain this kind of table I think so, so actually uh, when n is less than 28 we improve the uh, nine cases which are better than Schreiber bound but uh, two of them are uh, uh, eliminated from other mass root and we have seven new upper bounds but again five of, five of them are eliminated by this uh, uh, researchers uh, result which use the quadruple distance distribution so that is quite uh, more complicated than uh, triple distance distribution so so uh, our results survives only two of these cases so we can continue this kind of uh, ideas to constant weight cools. So that's our next uh, topic. So uh, I just, uh, because uh, yeah, review some uh, progress on upper bounds on constant uh, weight cools. So this is, so uh, we give uh, uh, two improvements. One is uh, again uh, improvement of desert linear plugin bound, and another one is again uh, Schreiber semi definite plugin bound. So desert uh, linear plugin bound for constant weight cools is uh, uh, developed by Argel, Badi, and Jigo in uh, 2000. Uh, they add <coughs> some kind of uh, uh, linear relation containing B, I, and B, J, two values of J. But here uh, we develop uh, yeah, uh, the theory and uh, Theoretically, we can add, uh, in their case, they uh, uh, add uh, some linear constra uh, constraint uh, on two values of J, but uh, we can uh, uh, <coughs> uh, give some kind of constraint for three values or more values, but for n equal, n is less than or equal 28 case, uh, uh, eight, uh, three linear uh, constraint is good enough and we obtain for example this kind of things 
So agar body jigo always something like this, but we improve like this. So this uh, uh, contain both of these uh, relations. So we get uh, this value, and uh, using this kind of technique, uh, Argel body jigo obtain these values, and the Schreiber's technique gives this kind of values. So our value is uh, uh, a little better than their result, and so we improve uh, some uh, constant weight. Uh, code using this kind of small techniques and uh, also uh, using this value uh, <coughs> uh, we can improve Schreiber's semi-definite pro programming bound for constant weight codes. So this uh, is uh, this is, uh, uh, in, in this case, our uh, uh, universe is uh, y instead of x. So the, uh, we need uh, one, more, one more parameter, like i, j, t, s. So in x, uh, we need x, i, j, t, but we uh, deal with the constant weight code, so we need one more variable, and we define uh, this kind of things. Then uh, Schreiber showed that this value is like this. This is, but exactly the same as uh, uh, triple di uh, distance distribution. Uh, Again, in this case, we prove this kind of thing. And usually this value is much less than one. So in this counting, uh, we uh, meet this kind of value with uh, <coughs> lambda equal four. But this uh, case is uh, some special case, so it gives, uh, for example, I think uh, this is doubly constant weight, uh, quadruply constant weight codes. This is quite natural, if you understand this speed. So using uh, uh, this kind of technique, uh, we can improve the <coughs> values. And this is for minimum distance, is Six case, and this is minimum distance is eight case, and this is minimum distance is ten case. Uh, this is minimum distance twelve case. Okay, that's all. Thank you for your attention.